We've now got to the back point of the catalog in Cuss Corner, Cuss Corner 13, where we're used to having Garion in studio or Jeff in studio, but for Cuss Corner 13 on a smorgasbord of really strange topics, Cam Stewart is back talking to Cust and myself about the crazy things that he thinks. It turns really into more of a cam corner than a Cust corner because the two guys really align on a lot of really bizarre things. So I want to make sure that everyone out there subscribes to Mayo Media Network. That's number one. That's the video network because we're we're back in the stage where we have the full videos of this. But every Cuss Corner will eventually be up on the Cuss Corner audio podcast feed. So go to Apple, go to Spotify, go to Stitcher, wherever you download podcasts, type in Cuss Corner and subscribe and download. If you're ever in need of a laugh, that should get you through it. We're on Cuss Corner 13. There's 17 more to go to go catch up so hopefully we can have them all in there if not remember to smash the like button for the episode and on those audio reviews especially on apple leave a five-star review something you enjoy about the show it will go a long way to helping people discover cust corner cust corner it's cust corner cust corner it's cust corner he's got the hottest takes with the highest stakes he should be president of the united states but it's Cuss Conan, it's Cuss Conan, Cuss Conan. <laughs> I think we could come up with a better name still for this show, but it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> no, 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 and here's the thing, because we had to do an impromptu one, because Cam Stewart's here! Hey! What's P- happening, P- Pat? You were on this back on Cuss Corner episode two, and everyone can find all the previous Cuss Corners oh, in the description It was the my show. favorite thing, because we, Tim and I don't agree on everything, but we both agree with trans fats. Like, we want more of them. Like, if I'm going to order bad food, just give it to me. Don't try to don't, don't try to make it healthier than it really is. Well, I want the dirtiest of the dirty. Well, usually what we do is let Tim bring things yeah. to bring stuff up oh. on the show. So what I've done is just scroll through his hot fire Twitter feed <laughs> and just saw some of the takes that he's been giving out here. So I want to get you to weigh in because they're primarily food takes. Yes. And what I want to start with first is something that Tim had mentioned was Tim not only uses a knife and fork to eat ribs, but he uses a knife and fork to cut the corn off his corn on the cob instead of eating it like a sensible, sane human being. I gotta be honest with you, I'm insane too. I love, I do, what? The, I do the exact same thing. I shave my corn Thank with you. a knife. Oh, you guys have lost yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's just because I know what the problem is. I, I, I prefer it on, on the ground, on the plate. Mm-hmm. I've had too many like corn in the teeth moments. I like go on, yeah, going, exactly. attacking that cob. It's like, I've done some really dumb things with the cob. And I'll tell you with ribs too, I like my ribs like, other than a dry rib, I won't use hands. But if if it's a saucy rib and I want to get some like Memphis dark sauce, I'm 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 fork and knife too. I can't. Oh, I, I'm not, I'm I can't not bullshit. I cannot I believe lie. this. I know, no, I, no, I, people, I love shaving. People corn. need to hit the comments on this right now. Shave this, your you need corn. To, no, I, I can't. I cannot Shave be the crazy one on this. Knife. I cannot be the crazy one on this. So in the comments, people, let me know. Do you use a knife and fork with your ribs and corn on the cob? Tim also uses a plastic knife and fork for his pizza because he only buys pizza from like crappy pizza places and like food courts. That I don't agree with. That's du- that's just fucking stupid. No, I don't use I don't use plastic. If you're going to do it, you got to use real cutlery. Would but you, no, would no, you but use no, pe- no pizza? pizza? No, I don't I But don't I feel it. like ribs are in that same camp. No, though. ribs but ribs what are stick ribs are stick pizza? ribs See, are stickier. Homemade. They're they're a whole they're a whole different game, man, especially when you do a double sauce. Like the thing about the rib, you got to cut I like to cut them. Get them, and I like them like fingers. They're basically look at look at each rib individually. Oh no 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 no! Oh no no that's not yeah. what we're, that's not what we're talking about. Oh, what are you talking about? No no, you can cut your. Oh, ribs. you're talking about like individual yeah. cuts? Oh god, no no no! I cut them into fingers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, No, but I am with them on the corn. No, and I'm telling you, he's not crazy. Cutting corn with a knife is actually a smooth move no, no, that no. people don't understand. No, no. Like, you'll, you don't you'll, get you'll as nearly as much corn in your teeth. You uh, yeah, don't do you know how do you know how long the corn stays in your teeth for? Like. 30 seconds. Nah, trust it's me. Shaving, it's fun, you, you, you eat your... You actually get... Know what another thing is? You eat your corn on the cob, then you get some floss on the go, and you're done. Actually... And it, everyone should be flossing every day. It's, so. a, yeah. it's also a value yeah. play, because when you get the knife, you get it right down to the core. When you go... You're leaving big, like, what? nuggets. Uh, it's on a... Pat, it's like... You got nice teeth. Look at those it's teeth. Like, I it's, like, it's, like playing, it. it's like playing a shitty golf course, man. You get bad lies all over your corn, man. Trust me. Shave it. It's just a little bit of sophistication and civilization. Rather than being a caveman and eating your corn with your hands, like you ripped it off the stalk, 
you, you know, the good Lord invented utensils to be used. And so there's no reason, there's no reason that you shouldn't. I'm, I'm negative on the ribs, but I do the fingers, but he's, I, I agree with Cus no, on the, the sausage ribs. I don't like getting my hands all dirty with stuff. It's like, even if I'm eating chicken wings, I'll always, you only use ever one hand to touch them. And the other I'll like put under the table so that it doesn't get dirty. I, I don't like my hands getting one messy. One hand? <laughs> yeah, that's tough. Okay. No, because one hand, because because there's flat beds and drums, right? Like, well, well, he like you can do, you can do one hand with the flat with, beds, but with the drums, I like to ding, 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 oh, ding. Yeah, hey, like hey, oh, maybe you can weigh on it because we we did this. And we actually put a poll out to the people, and they they signed it, and it was far less lopsided than I thought. Because I'm drumstick 100 percent of the time, so easy to eat. You don't have to like get in between the bones. Tim is all flatbed. I'm a flatbed man. I, I don't like. Why you do have, I know? You have, you have two know, bones. Want to know about flatbeds? Why I like hip hat because the. I used to go in competitions till my doctor told me not to. So it's the way I was learned. <laughs> when I learned how to eat chicken wings, there's a trick you can do with a flatbed. You can put it in, and it's one simple. If you put the bone in, bottom teeth, and yank, it comes out. But can't you do that? It's like a... the cartoons. You know when they come out with just the fish bones? That's that's what I'm talking about. But can't you about. do that with a drumstick too? <laughs> no, the drumstick you gotta go. You gotta twirl it. Yeah, but I guarantee, I guarantee you can't do a drumstick smoother than doing a flatbed. Tim will Tim will attest to it. It's been it's scientific. Tim, does, Tim, Tim, Tim just said he might use a fork to eat his wings. It's scientific. Tim has it. But no, he's so eating, he's I can grab a drumstick. Like this. I can grab a drumstick. Go. But I can guarantee there's going to be a little bit with a flatbed. You can totally pick it clean, brother. hundred percent agree, and it's better meat. It's better meat. It is. It comes from it's the fucking wing, Tim. <laughs> more tender, more juicy meat. It's just, it's you, not you know, you know what my grandma, I prefer flatbeds. You know what my grandma loves on the wing? <laughs> what? That other part. Like when we had oh, like, bristle? like whenever, like, you know how you have like the drumstick yes, yeah. and the little part that hangs off the oh, flatbed? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We cut those off for her and she goes to town on those. I like your grand style. Hey, she likes, she's, that's getting serious. No, I love a good chicken wing. But, but here's the thing though. And you, maybe you're right that flatbeds are better if you just want to and get them down for wing eating yeah. competitions. Yes. But I'm not just randomly in a, on a, if I go to the bar on a Thursday night, I'm not in a wing eating competition. I, I understand. and enjoy my wing. So I like the ability for a drumstick. You get a lot of meat there. You can get one bite and two full bites. You don't get that with the flat. Nah, flat you get bed. a lot of skin though too, and a lot of hard gristle. Yeah. That you don't get with it. Whoa, whoa, and okay. He brings up more good points. That's not a good point. What's the best part? Yes, about, it is. What's, I'm what's the best part? What, what, is, what is the best part about KFC? Is it the chicken or is it the skin? It's the skin. I it's the, I it's I the I skin. Love skin yeah. yeah. But that's so, the same. When, when, so whenever you deep fry the things, problem with me, though, is, I've never, at a KFC, I'm going to tell you what I do. Like when I go to my local, I usually get nothing under nine because I like to have leftovers and like pig out. But I don't like, I, I don't like, that's another thing. I don't like the, for KFC, I don't do drums. Yeah, I, don't, I only do thighs. thighs because KFC best. thighs, the, the skin is different than, it's, I, it's, I mean, a, it's a thicker, tastier skin than, the, than on the The thigh is the best part of the chicken. It's I not up for question. It's so much the best part of the chicken. Question. The chicken breast is better. <laughs> it's so weird. The, the two I just don't like the legs. The legs are like. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, I, listen, I'm, exactly. I'm not in for giant drumsticks as no. it pertains. No. I mean, I. Thighs kill. I, I, I'm no, not, thighs murder drumsticks. That's basically what it no, comes down to. I'm not going to sit here yeah. and pretend like I'm going to KFC all that often. I'm not. Yeah, I used to. You don't anymore? Not as much. Well, no. you need to hit a Actually, I used to have that argument with like the younger guys at work. They're like, oh, Popeyes, Popeyes. Like, no, Popeyes people, people love Popeyes. You know the problem with Popeyes is though, people? Uh, yeah, sure, and I'm in my 40s now. I don't want a fucking bowl of cornflakes with my chicken. Like the batter Thank that they you. put on it, it's just like, it's just, it's ridiculous. Like it's, a, it's, it's like flake or whatever. I'm like, I'm like digging into the chicken. And I'll tell you something, because they have that much flake and batter on it, you don't, the chicken tastes so rubbery, man. I don't care. I'm old school. All the young guys love Popeyes. Fuck Popeyes. I'm KFC, man. This All is, the way. This Popeyes is, has better sides though. Better biscuits and uh, their gravy. It feels like, I, I feel like I'm finally nuts. Not two against one for a change on this, this show. This is I, every time the cam is on, you and, you and Cust have... <laughs> Especially when it comes to like eating wise. Oh, we still don't... disagree on some beverages, like you know the Gatorade Powerade argument. And uh, actually, I got mad at him once. He did a he did a ranking of. Uh, I've never really gone like gone wild on Cust on Twitter, but he had like Starburst ranked very high in like a candy competition that pissed me off. But most takes, I'm with Cust. Did you see how he ranked the Starburst? Yes. yes. The order that he had the best Starburst <laughs> yeah, in. Yes. Tim, what were your Starburst <laughs> rankings for the people? Yes. Yellow is the be yellow oh. is the best. Then orange. Then red, then the pink ones are the worst. I gotta be honest with you, like when people give me Starburst, I'm like, Pfft. like Starburst to me is just so such a throwaway candy. You're not a candy man. I'm a no, no, no. I, I like some candy though. Like what, what candy? Because he says Sour Patch Kids are bottom of the barrel. I, I, used, I, I love I Sour, Sour Patch, Patch Kids. I, I'm actually a loser, and people are gonna laugh at me. My favorite candy were Swedish berries. Oh, I like Swedish. Berries. I like. Oh, Swedish those berries. are great. Do you know what Tim ranks as his number I used one to candy? Rock, uh, Raisins. Berries. 
Not chocolate no, raisins. It, no, like, like just, just like just shitting out raisins. Oh, see, uh, I'm sorry, Tim. What was your, uh, <laughs> where did raisins fall on your best Halloween candy list? Like fourth or fifth. Three or third. It was third. On your best Halloween candy, raisins were third. Have we ranked nuts oh. yet? Oh, we can do that right now. Uh, okay, I like that. Yeah, nuts. What, would, what would be your number one nuts? My, my vote, Tim Andercast. Number one nuts. <laughs> <laughs> for me, for me, for for eating nuts, pistachios are definitely the gold standard of nuts. You I just, I, I like to, I, I like to do the work with them. Uh, when it comes to pies, pecans, pecans, like I can fucking eat those like a truck of those. I, I, those are my money nuts. I feel like nuts. It all depends on where you are and what you're having. Like if I'm having like a stir fry, like uh, I'm out at a Chinese food Peanuts. place or something. No, I, I like to have the uh, the I either get the almonds in them. Or I get some, or get some, like some almond guiding. Get some almond, of that in almonds me. Almonds in a or, stir fry, or some cashews in there as well. Yeah, Those I'm a really cashew nice. man. Yeah, cashews for stir fries. I'm not an almond. Like guy, if though. I'm at a baseball game, I don't want. No, you want. I, I want, I want the shell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah of course. So it yeah. depends yeah. on the yeah. situation. Yeah. Right. They have the I'm just saying shell. pecans though for like dessert nuts or cat the Cadillac and nuts. Like a pe- good pecan pie, you can't beat that shit. It's delicious. All nuts are excellent. I don't like pie. You don't like pie? I don't like pie. No, no pie. Everybody nope, likes not, pump, not pumpkin. Okay, when you just said everyone likes pie, I just told you I don't like fucking pie, you moron. <laughs> Listen up. I don't think you're being serious. I don't eat pie. I don't, I don't like it. I don't think you're being serious. I'm not in the business of trying to be like 800 pounds here, Tim. I just don't like pie. I'm going to be honest with you. When, you. when you live a healthier lifestyle, this horrible food for you starts tasting a lot yeah. worse. I, I, it I, make, it, it makes you physically you. feel bad after you eat it. That's not good. It's like my daily life, Pat. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, no, my you, problem you is. You clean up the diet a little I'm a bit. Bi- I'm a bitch to cola. I'm, I've been trying to like whittle Try it down. down. Yeah, I've got it down to a, like a couple cans, two or three. Like I used to drink like Moran. See, he, we drink like over a two liter bottle a day. That's just Ooh. disgusting. Like you're, that might just shred your guts. I'm all can over bottle if I'm going to do it. Oh. I, hate, I hate bottled Coke. I will tell you something. I will also not no, drink. That is the best take ever. Like for people who buy bottles, it's not even in, in cans league. And preferably, I'm the type of guy because I love cola so much, glass. I go like when I see the old school glass at the store and I got a little bit of money in my pocket because I love, but I love cola. Like cola and a two liter bottle to me is disgusting. It's, it's tastes like shit. Okay. Well, I'm going to give you Can, cans and glass. You guys. Yeah. You guys can weigh in on this right now. So here, here would be my definitive how to drink soda yes. rankings. I like the Coke glass bottle too. If I see a glass bottle of anything and it's yeah. in the fridge, boom, you get the little like old timey yeah. bottle opener on the side of it. And boom, yeah. I like that the best. Number two can. But I don't like to pour the can out into anything. No, I just like an ice cold I, can. I like an ice cold can. Like, I'm like that guy who's addicted to cigarettes who like smokes three packs a day. Like, Tim. I go down to I go down to the fridge, Tim, at like four thirty in the five o'clock in the morning for the old see the vapor? Glug glug like that first sip of an ice cold can is probably like somebody's heroin or uh, crack. Well, like, I, I, I love it. Like I'm addicted. To I it. have a friend who wakes up every day, has a cig, a joint, a Pepsi, then a cig. That's how he starts every day. I like this guy. Yeah. I just, I just quit smoking, but that used to be my routine too. Yeah. Well, I, I, I do. I like to, I'll do joint and like, pop. Yeah. I like to use a straw when I'm drinking out of a can. Tim, that, that's where, that's, that's where why the you tabs lost exist. me. Enough. I don't, it's that's stra- why the straws, exist. straws, straws. You're supposed I don't to do turn straws. the tab around and slide the straw through it. That's why the tabs are shaped that way. To keep your straw in the can. What are you, like 90 years old? I love this guy. You know the best is to, actually one of Tim's other takes too, he ripped me, uh, when, when he had a ranking of beverages, he had Pepsi like at the bottom. That pissed me off because I'm a rotational player. Like oh. I like, I go Coke, Pepsi, Coke, Pepsi, Coke, Pepsi because I'm such a cola monster. I can't have the same one. Like I'll enjoy Coke for a couple weeks, then go to Pepsi for a couple weeks. Like I go back and forth on colas. Okay, so I would say glass bottle, can. Aluminum can, cold. Can, yeah. and then there's like a big gap. Then it goes down to bottle. And then it goes, there's a huge gap. And as Tim would say, DFL, dead fucking last. I will not drink Fountain Pop. I refuse to do oh, it. Oh, I don't either. It's, it's actually funny. It is disgusting. It, oh, you might, yeah, it's, it's basically you're drinking Aunt Jemima. It's syrup. Yeah, and Tim would say he loves swamp water. He likes to mix it all Oh, around. yeah, the Mountain Dew I mean, with the Dr. Water. Pepper. I love yeah. <laughs> you said you used to go to Ponderosa. You. you said you used to go to Ponderosa as oh, a yeah. child and get some swamp yes. water, and you loved it. It's like comfort When food I was a child. <laughs> you, yes. you still eat like a child. <laughs> no, I don't. But you know what? I, I, I kind of like Mountain Pop. I'm, I'm sorry. I do. It's Give cool. us the case for Fountain Pop besides the fact that you want Coke that is not only bad for you, but like five times worse for you. It doesn't I taste as good. It, I just think it tastes really good. I mean, I'm with you that I prefer a can to a bottle. 
No, uh, I, I, I prefer bottle. I prefer glass bottle, bottle. Want glass bottle than can. Yeah. Nothing else. Like the two liter plastic to me is DFL. I don't know. The glass no. bottles are a little bit too elite for me. I, I don't need to be drinking my pop on a glass bottle like some big shot. The, the, uh, <laughs> that I, that's the problem, Tim. I'm a big shot in no areas of my life. That's the only thing I can <laughs> fucking afford is a like, Pepsi in a bottle. Christ's sake, that's like that's my little pleasure in life. Ooh, look at me! I can afford a bottle. It's a dollar seventy nine. Well, well, here's a good thing too, because generally the glass bottles have less cola in them than the cans. It's actually better for yeah. It's a quick hitter. Yeah, it's great. It's, it's like those tiny cans that you can get. Why do you think two liter bottles are seventy seven cents? They suck. They suck. Yeah. The only the only good time, good for mixing if you're having a huge party that would be and, the you, thing. and you use it the whole in one sitting. Now, if you want to be an elitist. Instead of getting the 70 cent, 77 cent bottle for like, hey, I, I got some Sprite, I got some 7 Up, some Pepsi, some Coke, some Coke Zero, I got some ginger ale. Everything yeah. is covered across the board. A real elite player would just get a 12 pack of cans of all those things for a party. I am not one of those people. That's an elite move. Yeah, that's when you have money, Pat. Yeah. And I will say this I used to think Soda Stream was for suckers. And oh, I, I got one. I bought my girlfriend one. I it's have it's one probably the best investment years. ever. It's, a, it's not just I fun putting it in there. She drink. We drink so much. Sorry, so, I, I, I don't want to throw. I don't want to throw her under the bus. We drink so much vodka and soda that we're saving probably now thousands of dollars. Like oh. I'm not even bullshitting. <laughs> Like, I, I go to the soda stream, like, I'm at home hardware here, there, like, give me a fucking soda stream. Like, think about it. If a bottle, a two-liter bottle of, like, Canada Dry uh, Soda in her convenience store costs $3 and something, I get a soda stream cartridge for 20 bucks. Where are you getting the 20 It's bucks? over 60 liters. Where are you getting the In Mississauga, $18.99. Not bad. Yeah, Toronto about 24, 20. Yeah, we were, we were getting them. We were buying them in bulk off Amazon, and they would come into like 15. Do they have them at Costco in like three torpedo Do you packs? think I'm some sort of elitist with a Costco <laughs> membership? I don't well, even. I have a Costco membership. Of course, oh, Tim, you gotta take me. I gotta go to Costco. I don't. I own like a, Costco. I don't own a car. Actually, Costco is great for like. Uh, for, for for things like I'm a bad like for I like to fry things and you see a get bad unhealthy lifestyle. They had those gallons of oil for like nothing there. You know what? In the store they're like twenty bucks. I was my I mean you say you and your you and your lady like to have some vodka sodas. My me and my lady enjoyed a crush multiple bottles of wine on a Saturday. That's yeah. why my tweets get I a like bit, I like wine. We, we get a bit fiery yeah. on uh on Saturday night. Oh, so church. we were very hungover on Sundays. We yeah. watched this air fryer infomercial. Like Three times in a row oh, I know the last one. Sunday. The guy who looks kind of like Jeff. Yeah. Yeah, he's kind of like the a redheaded looks, Jeff. The guy looks like <laughs> hey, Feinberg. He's yeah. all in on this yeah. air fryer. And like, after the third time I watched it, I was like, it's not that idea. I'm going to tell you something, though. What, and what, what, and what is it not selling me? Because it makes it seem like it's excellent. And I'm going to be honest, and this is something people don't talk about enough. I have it. I have a, a T-Fal Actifry. It is, yeah, good. So it, it is good for most things. But, but, but this is what thing. For tempuras. And all the other stuff that you need, you need to deep fry them because the problem with the active fry is it takes off the coatings, like because it yeah, goes around and around and around. Together. Yeah, onion rings is a disaster because they turn out to yeah. be onion. So that's why you still need oil for onion rings, shrimp tempura, and other things of that ilk. You have to deep fry. But you know what they're good for? Like I bought some sausages. They just go around like Flavor City, man. You don't have to poke holes in it. The active fry is a very good purchase, but you still need to deep fry certain products. Well, this or one some that- of those wedges. If you yes. want to go to a party and you just knock on the door with those uh, oh, wedges. Oh, yeah, like the chick from TSN. Hey, I brought wedges. Are we partying? <laughs> yeah, that's what? great. Big, yeah, big, yeah, big yeah, time yeah. party. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I brought I brought $2 wedges and some sour cream. Yeah, well, 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 yeah, with the, the party guys bringing yeah. something that's probably a bit more expensive. Yeah, I'm not like, going to lie Who's getting about. naked? Like, come on now. <laughs> All right, so I, there is something Tim touched on here. Yes. Because he said he drinks straws with his Coke. Towns now, and this just happened at Wimbledon as well, banning straws because of an environmental cause. They don't want people using straws because they're just waste. I'm like, why do you need to use a straw? Tim, very upset about this, aren't you, Tim? Yes, absolutely. I like straws. Straws should exist. Uh, there's lots of reasons why. I mean, what, what are they going to do when you go, go to McDonald's and they have straws? Are you going to drink it, drink from it, uh, the, a hole in the lid? Like, what about my juice boxes? How am I going to open those without a straw? His juice like, boxes. I like it. He's a child. I, I, I like, he eats like I, a child. He's got the Deli Sing Q, the Five Alive little mini box. No, but to Tim's point, they're, they're pumping out uh, packs of 24 packs of Nestle water and all the other bullshit. What's a straw in yeah, comparison really. to, the, to the plastics that's being out there? Well, I, I'm with Cus. No, I, I think they're looking <laughs> at it you. as, here, where's, a, where's an area we can tackle? I'm not even a straw man. No one's a straw. <laughs> and that's the whole thing. You have all these straws. <laughs> only weirdos use straws. So we can probably get rid of them and no one will care except for the type of people that would write like a letter to the editor and be all mad. <laughs> like, like Tim. I'm like, not putting like my lips people. on a dirty can that anyone could have touched. Oh, no, thank you. I, I, I don't, I don't want to touch. 
I can't eat ribs with my hands because it will make my hands dirty. I eat chicken wings with a hand behind my back. I kind of like so those. no so no sauce gets on it. I don't want to touch a dirty can. You claim to be or the man of the people. No, you claim to be the man of the people, Tim. You think the so man Pat, of the, the people is out. some fucking elitist walking around with Mickey Mouse gloves so he doesn't get anything on his hands? Hey, Purell is a very high selling product. No! No, 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 no. People don't need to wash their hands unless can they shit on them. Can you shag tie one of my arms with a rope and see if I can eat wings with one? I, I, we got to try this at a bar one night. No, I'm going to give it a shot. When Tim's in town next. Yeah, Tim, we'll do, we'll do the one arm wing uh, routine. But I think it's e you could get rid of straws and only Tim would notice. Or like, no, that's not or like actually, or like eighty-year-old women. To his point, seniors and children. Juice, Se the juice senior. box industry is huge. Yeah, and who cares about children and seniors? <laughs> no one. You think they're buying things? No. You think they're a key demo? No. Yeah. I want my straws, and I will not have them taken away for some pig in a poke I nonsense. Want my straws. Tim hates the environment. He wants his straws because he doesn't know how to use no. a can. Properly. To his point, though. 90% of the fucking shit that recycles going to the garbage dump anyway. Like, this recycling thing is a straight-up scam. You think recycling is a scam? It is. You're on board with Tim on this. It's, it's absolutely true. I watch the garbage men, too. And you know what people do? Lazy people in complexes? I got those big bins. I see what people are throwing in. They're mixing garbage with recyclables all the time. Or the green bin with the blue, whatever. It's pure bullshit, Pat. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm just I mean, telling I you the truth. It is pure recycling. bullshit. They don't sort it. They don't do anything. It all goes to the garbage dump. In Sorry. theory, recycling is a marvelous it idea, is, but, it's but not in real. practice, it just hasn't been pra it isn't hasn't been perfected yet. Now you know why Cuss is on the show. He's got a, he's got good answers. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really the, the again. You're coming with the pro Tim takes. And every now and then, it is nice to have. Yeah, we someone disagree on. on some stuff, but we and the main things we yeah we, we read each other's mail. Pack. All right. Well, how about this? Do you disagree on this? Tim says, and this is a millennial yep. trend that Tim is all over. Yeah. Um, Bagels have too many carbs in it for him. So what Tim does is he takes the bagel, scoops out some of the uh, the bread from it. It, it, it. Please explain this to me, Tim. Just explain. Yeah, it. like so I cut it in half, or it's cut in half, and then I like like dig a moat in the inside of the bagel. I like remove a good amount of the breading inside the bagel, and that's where I put my cream cheese. And so you get all the goodness and the flavor of the cream cheese, but you just don't have as much bread. And I just think it's it's better that way. It's lighter. You don't feel as logy afterwards. But, wow. but, so but what, you're, what, like, you're, what, wow. what you're doing is cutting down on the bread and tripling your cream cheese intake. No, no, I wouldn't. I don't put any more on that. What do you mean you don't all. put any more? You're building a moat to harvest your fucking cream cheese. No, that's not why, true. Why, do, why don't you just eat half a bagel? And no, second, no, I want my full bagel. I'm not eating half a bagel. Well, well, you're, bagel. You're, you're going out of your way to dig a moat yeah. out of your bagel when you can just cut it in half. And just half Tim, half. you know you get a physique like this? Know what my move is? I don't even do that. I do full bagel, no moat. I do butter and peanut butter. Like that's a decadent move and it tastes great, but you know what? Like I can't stop doing it. It's delicious. Have you ever had just like a bagel with peanut butter? It's not yes. the same as when you put the butter on as the first layer, Pat. Sometimes you know, what I, I gotta, do I gotta, is I'll put I gotta, I gotta stop these things. I'll put peanut butter on one half of the bagel and then jam on the other. Again, inside the moat and then put it together. Oh, inside the moat. So, <laughs> so this is something that we, we found out that they're really doing a big in Brooklyn. Like, Brooklyn hipsters are all about this move to get extra bang for their buck. And for whatever reason, Tim's on board with them. Tim is a, no, is a like, listen to how elite he talks about <laughs> everything and then claims he's a man of the people and that he hates millennials, but he gets <laughs> triggered over everything. If this wasn't something that he was so pro, he'd be so triggered by this. Every problem now with, and then. The problem with millennials is they're fucking bullshit things that they put together on their diets. Like, oh, I need this nine tip. sauces and 16 sauces. Here's a tip. Sometimes chicken wings and just Frank's Red Hot is good. I don't like going to restaurants and open up the menu and go, wow, there's 42 sauces. Who gives a shit? Thank Nobody's going to order half of that stuff Thank anyway, you. man. You need three no to four basic that. sauces. No I, 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 I would get rid of absolutely it. stupid. Frank's, it's a waste of Frank's time. Hot's Frank's hot sucks. I, I would never I'm put that on I'm just saying even like a hot sauce, a Tabasco, a Sriracha. I would, I would get rid of all of those. If you're not eating suicide on your wings, you're doing it wrong. You no, like... if you're not eating blue cheese on your wings. <laughs> that, yeah, blue it. cheese. I don't do ranch. Blue cheese. No, no, ranch, blue, ranch blue is cheese. disgusting. Blue cheese ranch is what is chicken that... wings are for, Pat. They were born together. Listen, I am living exactly. a lifestyle where I don't want to be sweating 24-7. I, I just can't have it. I don't need my cholesterol to be that high. Give me the fiery suicide sauce. I'll sweat that way because of the heat. I just looked on the thing. I, I I'm sweating of, now, I too. I have a lot of problems. You are, you are radiating I, at I just, me. I know. It's like, buddy, I used to do road trips. And my, I remember once we almost fucking died. Like, we were in Boston. Like, I, it was, and I'm fogging up windows. I'm like some kind of plant. 
And I don't know what the hell it is. My buddy's like, Cam's just like, like, I'm like, I don't know what it is. It's moisture. Like I fog up cars. I sweat so much, man. Okay. But it's not a bad smelling sweat. And my girlfriend even told me that. She goes, it's nice that you actually sweat. Like I could smell like an Irish spring or a coast or like, a, 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 <laughs> like some kind of body wash. Like I, some guys, when they sweat, they smell like shit and ass. Like I, I'm kind of lucky that way. For a guy that sweats a lot, I've been blessed. Okay, so here's one that got Tim super triggered <laughs> yes, the other day. Yes, And I think you're going to be on board with him, too, because you seem like this kind of man as well. Hotels like the Marriott and the Holiday oh, Inn God. are getting rid of the little shampoo bottles. So they're just going to have a thing on the wall where you can get your shampoo from because too many people are either wasting them or stealing I them. I steal them. And, and, and so does Tim. Tim even told me. I paid for the... If I'm paying $279 fucking dollars for you. a room... I should be able to take anything that's not nailed down. The Thank fact, you. the fact that I got to go into the, fr the the fridge itself. And here's another thing: the hotel rooms. If you don't have, if you don't have a fridge, I don't even want to be in your hotel. Like oh, these yeah, guys are. Crazy. That is like to me when I go to Vegas, I, I'll pay that whatever twenty dollar fee. Give me a fucking fridge. I don't want to put my beers in the sink with ice anymore. I want a fridge. You're We're adults. You're paying for the room. You're not paying for the amenities. Those are complimentary. And it's people like Tim who. Also told me, and, and, and you, so what Tim does is at the end of each day, even if he hasn't used the stuff, I he takes the stuff that's what I and do. hides it. And shocking that hotels want to get rid of this because people are abusing the system. Tim, I can't, I can't, I I can't lie to you. Nights, I, steal, I, can't, I take anything that's not nailed down. Yeah, you're not, pay, you're not paying for this stuff. That's complimentary. Pay, and you're taking advantage pay, of their good nature, and now you've ruined it for us all. Paying $279 a night for a shit hotel? Two bottles of shampoo. Get an Airbnb Two bottles conditioner. And two shower caps and two soap. Do, do you even you? Okay, do you, could you think you could be trusted with a sewing kit? Yes. No. I could. I've used it in the past. I know how to sew buttons onto shirts. Do you? And I've done it before. Now, yes, when, you, when, you, when you are, I'm writing this down right now. When you are up, we're going to get you a sewing kit. We're going to watch you sew buttons. And sure, we're going to see how much difficult. blood gets on that shirt. You could sew my buttons. I tried. It's hard. <laughs> it no, is I'm hard, sewing, but I, I I'm not Well, talk to Gusty. He has 475 <laughs> sewing kits. Why don't you, listen, okay, why don't, complimentary for customers. All right, you, you know what else is complimentary then? The Bible. Why don't you take that? No, it's not. That's yes, not it, why isn't that? But everything else. I gotta be is. honest, I don't want a Bible. I, want, I don't want I, the fucking I, Bible. I, I, I want shampoo. But if you're just gonna see, if you're going to, if, Bibles, if you're going to raid the, the rooms and yeah. take everything because it's mine, because I <laughs> paid for it. Why not take the Bible? You probably get a good twenty. I actually don't the take the, I don't no. take the soap as much because I for I prefer a big bar. The soaps no, are very soap. small. Here They're is the sneaky small. thing about the shampoo, the conditioner, the body wash, the soap that you get at these hotel rooms. It's shit soap. It's shit well, shampoo. Maybe at the low rent hotels you're staying at, but at nice hotels. <laughs> it's on. <laughs> what was the last hotel you stayed at? Uh, I probably well, I, okay. Circus, circus for me. No, Tim, Tim refuses to say anything. He's, the days in is good enough for me. You think the days in has fucking great The last other out? hotel I stayed, I'm almost embarrassed. Me, Hainzer, and uh, Erdman stayed at Scottish Inn in Niagara Falls. I think they had, like, loose hookers there. Like, it was 28 bucks a night, like, with the fold-out bed. Like, it was a dump. Like, it was a straight-up by the hour, like, get your rocks off so hotel. So, I, I guess my point would be that yeah. if you're going to these low-class hotels like Tim, and you're taking the shampoo, the generic brand <laughs> shampoo. Why would you ever want to use the shampoo after the fact? Oh, what do you, all what do you, what do you do? All shampoo isn't the same. Ah, oh, sure it is. It all does is this the same why you all. have such bad dandruff? I have fantastic hair. What are you, you talking you about? Don't. You don't. He does have a great you have the, you, you, He does have a great It's a good point, Pat. I've, I've discovered, like, I used to be a Pantene man, and then I discovered Head and Shoulders with the tingle. It is a superior product. It is way better. See? You, you, you get the See, note. I bring a lot of, like, I, I, I'm fair with my assessments. I, I used Head and Shoulders. Like, I never, I, I can't believe it. Like, people buy it regularly. I'm like, I never had Head and Shoulders for, like, 30-something years, and I tried it. What a shampoo. You get a nice, it's, it's life changing. Well, you get a nice shine on the go. No, too? I just like the tingle. Oh, you like the tingle yeah, of it? Yeah, yeah. Get like, that right into your yeah, scalp? Yeah, yeah. Damn right you do. At a hotel, there are certain things which are not there for customers to take. Like, you, if you took the coffee machine, you're a thief. Why? Or if you took no, the no, 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 no. Don't try to justify yourself. Tim, I do, t I do take the coffee, though. So I take the coffee, coffee and the packs too. and the whiteners. I take the coffee, too. And I take it, and I take the tea and everything because that's for customers to have. Exactly. They the shampoo with the soap. Clearly, that's clearly, you are both wrong on this because they're getting rid of it because of people like you. Well, they you know when you know when PBS says just... we can do this stuff because of customers like you. Yeah. They're getting rid of this stuff because of customers like you. I don't like leaving stuff I've paid for behind. You I haven't paid, paid for it. Part. It is complimentary right. for you to it's use if you room. need it. You're there. 
Tim, okay, you know what my grandma does? My 84-year-old grandma. She goes to, like, Smitty's for breakfast. And oh, Smitty's, so she nice. gives a quick look around. She's going to have some toast. Steal sugar? Oh, sugar, jam, just loading it into her purse. I like your grandma. That's what Tim does. I do the same Tim thing. Tim is my 84-year-old no, grandmother. Yeah, I'm bad. I don't do I that. Actually I bring, do I, actually, Tim, I'm, I'm horrible. I'm a thief. I bring a big Ziploc, and I throw a lot of things into it. It's, no, it's, I've it's never done that. Good. I wouldn't do it at your home, Pat. But I would do it at a restaurant. Why not do it at your home? I've had you into yeah. my home. Everything's on the table. Because apparently. I'm not paying seventeen at your home. I'm not paying seventeen ninety five for poached eggs. I want my. Volume. All right. Well, what if you came over to watch like a boxing pay per view at my house, and I charge everyone twenty bucks to pay for it? Now, are you paying for the pay per view, or are you paying for being in my house? And then it's free reign to take all the food out of my kitchen. You're take- not a company. I mean, Mayo Media Inc. is a company. Mayo Inc. is a company. I'm going to steal your cartridges. <laughs> Where'd Mike Tyson's punch out go? Camp stolen. No, I got the that Corey Hart out. Oh, you are. You get mad. No, here's the problem. You, you see people online like the Free Nugs guy, a true hero who got free nuggets for a that year. That guy is a mooch. Okay, so he's a moot because he went into public and asked, what do I need to do to get free nuggets? Then you get mad at everyone who goes to social media and say, what do I need to do to do this? You're a fucking private moot and you do it for shit no one wants. And then get mad at people that get good stuff. There's no comparison. I am taking stuff I've paid for in a hotel room. You haven't paid for it. Which the hotel replenishes every single day. Because because they want the customers to feel good that there's stuff You bring up a good argument about the pay-per-view, but since I know you as a person, I wouldn't steal from you. Smitty's and other companies are faceless. Cracker Jack companies that okay. overcharge for so, breakfast. And again, so that's t- why I have my own. I have my own moral code. I wouldn't do it to a friend. That's fair. It's just like how if McDonald's mischarges you, you walk out the door. But that's if you're right at a local, if you're at a mom and pop diner, you tell them, "Hey, you mischarged yes. me here." Here's if I know the owner and he's good to me, I would a- and leave a bigger tip yeah. too. That's the way I look at it. Yeah, listen, I, I'm with you yeah. on that as well. But Tim, <laughs> on the other hand, <laughs> what does Tim love? Corporations. Corporations should do whatever they want to make money. Are people going to stop going to hotels? No, people need hotels. And what has happened? Airbnb is coming in yeah. and undercut a lot of these hotels, so they got to save money somewhere. So Tim, as an entitled millennial <laughs> customer, thinks that everything is his, and when they take it away, he gets triggered. How old? Just the stuff that's mine is mine. How old do you think Tim is? Now, if you look at his Twitter handle, you can figure this out. Just looking at the picture, I'd say he's a smooth... 83? No, I was going to say 36. 10. Yeah. He's 22 years old. It's that is a lie. I'm 30. <laughs> <laughs> 22. That's amazing. I was like, holy shit. He got his PhD at 22. Fuck there yeah. we go. Hey, you can say what you want about Tim. He's a doctor. It's pretty impressive. You know what he's not a doctor of? Common sense. <laughs> So, Tim, why are you so mad at these corporations that they're saving money because of mooches like you who steal all their product and then they have to pay I'm not a mooch. You are a mooch. Not only you're, okay, you're not a mooch. You're a thief is what you're I'm doing. I'm not a thief. The stuff is there for customers to have and use and take you're home. Pre- yeah. No, what's it, why, okay, what's what, this one, Pat? What, how, what? how do you eat steak? That, that's the last one. Yeah. Because if you leave a half-used bottle of shampoo behind, you know where that bottle of shampoo goes? It goes, it goes no, no, it doesn't. It goes back into the bin. No, it goes into the you, trash. You, you, and this is why all, like... Uh, recycling, garbage, all that stuff should be privatized. So they throw all the stuff into the bin, but they have a separate bin for conditioner. They have a separate bin for shampoo and soap. Probably yeah. not soap. They probably do throw that out. But they put all the shampoo into one bin, all the conditioner into one bin. Kind of like they- the bars used to leave the half pitchers and throw it into super pitcher and then and charge and for then the cheap pitcher. You have the guy who works in the basement who dumps it all yeah. back into the tub to refill it later, Tim. I hate to tell you. I don't believe that's happening. It's just like how he thinks that the sandwich artists at Subways aren't smoking joints out back when no one's around. Well, actually, I'm going to tell you that location (laughs) right around the corner from Mayo Studios, they're done, eh? I don't think, like, like, no code. Like, the lettuce tasted like ass. Like, the thing about Subway, and I don't want to rip that, I don't know, they don't sponsor any of your shows. No, they they sponsor Tim in his day-to-day life. I'm going to tell you something, though, Tim, and I agree with a lot of things you're saying. I've never had a company where a turkey tastes like a meatball that tastes like a ham. All their fucking shit tastes the same. Their lettuce is like, it's not even lettuce. Like it's like, it's like paper that's green. Okay, anyway, we getting- I, I got issues with Subway. I know you're a big, uh, you're a big okay, fan. And we were getting along so well. <laughs> See, Tim has smoked so much, he actually has no taste buds. Oh, so it almost tastes the same to him. 
I think the sweet onion chicken teriyaki is just about the best darn sandwich a person can get. Uh, I'll stand on that corner as far as, as far as it takes. We've got into the point now where you're right. It is hot in here. I'm, I I'm now sweating oh, I know. onto my yeah, shirt. You get the perspiration. Holy. Well, you bring yeah. so much energy, you heat up the room. All right, two yeah. more things before we get yeah, out of here. I got, yeah, yeah, the, what do we got the, going? the one that I circled, how to eat steak. Tim, please give us your rankings of how steak should be cooked. The best way for me is medium, then medium rare, then medium well, then a gap, then well done, then rare, then blue rare. I'm total opposite. How? I, 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 I honestly, if you're, if the steak is over medium, it pisses me off. There, it, and it, another thing it, is, is a steak eatable if it's over medium? I would send no, it back. No, I would send it well, back. You, you have ruined the steak. Yeah, for, I would like a new steak. And here's please. another thing that people don't realize too, because I cook a lot of roast pad. You always want to do it a little bit under than the in initial target because just the natural juices itself are going to probably take it up a notch. I cook everything rare. I want to see some pink in my meat, and I'll tell you something: when it's dry and has that like gray kind of tinge to it, it goes back. I think people who eat uh, tough steak. Or, or morons that's just basically i don't understand how you can get a well done steak or a roast what are you going to do get a vat of gravy to pour on it like i like gravy well, yeah. but you know what i mean a rare steak is the only way to go rare if you get a if you go to a nice nice joint get yourself a nice steak would you ever put hp sauce on never it? if it's a good if it's a good joint i don't need sauce i only put hp sauce on what i do on well done meat that's disappointing yeah, that's that, what that, I do. That you're Medium or higher, and if I don't take it back, I might as well throw some of this shit sauce on it. T Tim's all, like, bad steak. And Tim also orders steak at non-steak places, which is the biggest rookie move in the league. <laughs> like, I'm going to, like, some shit diner and be like, you know what I would like to have? Your steak. Yeah, steak and eggs. I like that for breakfast. I don't care. Yeah, I, I don't mind a steak. I miss Ponderosa, too, Tim. You were right, oh, though. So great, good. great, great buffet for cheese. How, how, it was so but good. in the steak pantheon, how low quality was the steak at Ponderosa? Oh, it, Ponderosa steaks, like, eating shit. But I, I'm well, saying, well, yeah, I'm saying for an 8 99 buffet with salad and, and drink, yeah, I, I can yeah, buy it. It wasn't a high quality uh, steak. But you know. know what? So what? I don't have to eat <laughs> a, a, a $95 porterhouse to feel like I've eaten the steak that's worth eating. No, you, you should, though. Like rare, hey, listen, have, but if you're at a in, restaurant... In, unless you're going out and buying your own meat and cooking it yourself at home and which doing I do. it that way. Yeah, you, and you like, cook it like put it in the microwave, Tim. No, I don't. And you buy probably the worst cuts of steak possible because we know Not you. true. We, we know you. If you buy a flank, you got to marinate it. That's, that's yeah, I don't the key. Like if you're going to get steak, shitty... Actually. Hey, there's nothing wrong with shitty cuts. You just need patience. You also need to... If you're going to buy a shitty cut of steak, use it for something else. Make a steak stir fry or something. Or make a... Yeah. yeah. I only Philly buy cheese steak. when I buy when I do steak. It's either top sirloin, but my rib cap. You gotta you gotta go rib. A rib steak is I, the cap of all steaks. I like I like steaks with bone in them somewhere. Oh, I want a bone. Yeah, that's, 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 that's why me and Tim agree. Everyone's like, "Oh, I like chicken poppers." I'm like, "Are you kidding me?" That's where the, the flavor's on the bone, man. That's why I get the yes. wing. Everything's gotta have bone. Although in. I do like a New York strip, I will admit I do like a New York strip. It's okay strip. for a sandwich, but it's not like a go-to steak. The rib, the rib is my is. favorite. Medium and medium rare are my two favorite types of steak. Like, I'm more or less with you guys. I like I, it slightly. I, the, the weird thing is when you say medium rare and then medium, it leads me to believe that you actually prefer your steak more well done than anything. Because if you're going to say medium rare, most people will just order it rare or medium rare. Like they, they, they skew down, not up. That part I don't quite get. I do like it slightly more medium than medium rare on that scale. Yes, I do. I, got a lot I of, like it yeah, in the I, middle without. I just don't like it. I don't like it too slimy. I got so, friends who are dirt bags, like uh, British, like, you know what I mean? Like fucking beans yeah. and toast. Well, don't we used to say to my buddy, Steve, beans and toast, well done roast. Cause that was his move. You'd go over for dinner on Sunday. We got stoned, watch a little football, nice mother and all, but like everything was well done. Like I, for me, well, I, no, 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 no. I don't, I hate that shit. Rare, 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 well rare pad. It's gotta have yeah, flavor. So, so, so I guess part of the problem is here, you grew up in a household where, listen, it's same as like, my grandmother cooks like, she does like the Newfoundland dinner. It's like salt, beef, and everything's boiled. Yeah. Like it's, it's, you know, you can eat it. It's not good. Yeah. Well, I grew up on like like well done roast beef, and you just put the gravy to it, or you put the yeah. HP sauce you know, you it. can evolve past what you ate when you were five years old. That's that's on the table. Just because I, like I liked it then, I gotta like it now. This is the same reason he once wrote McCain's because they had a broken straw in his juice box. It wasn't just one; it was the whole the whole uh, set of juice boxes. The straws were cracked. How am I gonna drink the juice out of a juice box if the straw is cracked? 
Am I supposed to cut it open and pour it out? What's the point of having a juice box then? If is, I can't take it for Tim, lunch I, or something. I love you, but the fact that you, that, that's in, to he's write, a, he's, to, a, he's to, a doctor. To write a letter? No, I fucking love this guy now. Like that's, that, that is insanity. I love I paid man. my money I and I was man. not satisfied. That's right. You, you want the 99 cent juice box? No, I like that though. He's going after the man. Fuck it. Get their straws right. No what? more cracks. Last outrageous is statement yes. is, and we'll make this very quick. Tim said if he was the king of sports for a day, the first thing he would do is bring back, like get rid of the two, like get, bring back the two-line pass in hockey. Oh, yeah. Floaterville. Yeah. yeah. I like it. You know what Tim's favorite hockey was? New Jersey Devils, 1996. That was hockey. I like the left-wing lock. I don't care. It's, it's funny. Wayne Gretzky and the Oilers happened to score eight goals a game back when two-line passes were offside. The idea that with getting rid of the two-line pass is somehow going to innovate the game is nonsense on stilts. Is that outrageous? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the 70s and 80s were full of goals when two-line passes were offside. They, all, they also had the same equipment as lacrosse goalies. <laughs> they stood there with a the, the the no. stick and a baseball glove <laughs> know, like this. Then how about reduce the size of the equipment rather than change the rules of the game? Well, you're not going to make something less safe, Tim. That's not where sports is going towards. You can reduce the size of leg pads and you're not in, making anything... Uh, more injurious for the goaltender. Paul, that's silly. Paul, you're a goalie. You want bigger or smaller pads? Well, any goalie should want bigger pads. It's just more thing to st- uh, more padding there to stop pucks. The problem we're is about hockey's thing? so wussified now. No, you do, Pat. It's, it's the worst trick in the book. You see what they're doing? Hey, I'm the defense. Oh, I, I rode him into the goal. Goaltender interference. Before, remember, we played hockey. Guys were using my legs as like basically like I was a, a redwood in the thing. I used to come back with welts on my back, but I, oh, it's only playing double A, tri- triple A hockey. Like this is this is not like I can't believe how wussified the game. Like, and Scott Stevens is could now. not play the NHL. That's what I'm saying. Not, like guys could. can't even hit. Like if you're I mean, Scott, defense, Scott, used to murder Scott guys. Stevens made a career on uh, hitting people when they people, weren't yeah. looking and trying to kill them. Well. Yeah. I Keep your like, head up. I kind, of, I, kind of, I kind of like the old school too. I, I, it's I just it's talk, never going back up to when that. You have the no, no, I'm a caveman though, Pat. You know that. Listen, I, I, <laughs> I, I prefer the Brad Marchand style of hockey or the Sean Avery style of hockey. <laughs> yeah. People are lick people. <laughs> play, yeah, licking people to piss yeah. them off, yeah. tapping them in the back of the shins where there's no padding. Uh, that's that's the proper style of hockey. Sports is all wussified right now. Football, you can't. Uh, you, soon we're gonna be playing. You and you know, Pat, we're gonna be playing two hand touch and flag football pretty you soon. Get seven guys, on guys, seven. guys can't. Guys can't. Uh, you can't hit anybody high. And that's the thing in hockey. You're moving really fast. Like you, a lot of the time, the guy he goes down or whatever. You didn't even mean to hit him there. You just happened to put your your elbow in his face or your shoulder in his face because he ducked or moved to the side or whatever. You can't control this shit. If they got rid of the kickoff in the NFL, I will lose it. Why? Because it would be it basically would be destroying the game. Okay. okay. It would, be, w- would you stop watching if that was the case? I would certainly enjoy it a lot less, and it probably yeah, you know, the would, answer is yes, yes. I'll still watch. Like, oh, oh, watch yeah, yeah. It, we're, we're addicted. Yeah, we're, so, we're, so, so yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't really know, matter what the they NFL do. Is does one it? of the shittiest products, like some of the quarterback, we're watching every week because we gamble. It would actually start the process of the league changing its rules in such a way that I probably would watch less. Then you would, and you would I watch would every single sport. game, and then you would pick a team, and that that other team would win. I'm Two line so pass. Sure. Think... You know when hockey was at its best, the late nineties. <laughs> no, the late eighties. He likes the, the devils. Devils. The, the devils. devils. The devils. The devils. <laughs> I want. I want nineteen eighties and seventies style hockey. I'd rather that than what we have now. You know what Tim or... loves? Everything that happened before he was born. It, it's been talked because <laughs> when he was five years old, his dad told him how great it was, and now today's game is ruining everything. Yeah. And just somehow that impression got stuck in his head. So everything was better. 30 years ago. Everything. Not everything, but everything. some things were. To bring back the two-line <laughs> pass. Bring it back. I don't want someone floating. This isn't basketball. This is not a fast-break sport. That's why we like golf. You don't have to worry about this shit. It goes on its own pace. Well, but golf's yeah. changing its rules now, too, to please all the kids. Oh, you can't drop the ball from your shoulder anymore. You can drop it from an inch from the ground. Oh, you can bring those sky caddies on the course. Can you imagine? The biggest How- bullshit, though, is when there's wind and you and the ball's rolling on the green. Like, give me a fucking break. Like, how many times have guys been penalized for shit you can't? Like, that's just yeah, nonsense. Yeah, but you know Tim wants that to be penalized, though. He's old in on Tom that. Morris had to deal with it. Well, go fuck yourself and go <laughs> fuck old Tom Morris. How about that? Why do you even watch this shit if you don't like it? Because I have, I hold Cause, it Because I when I was, when people were my age, that's what they watched. So I still watch it, but I hate it because it's not like how it used to be. You're fucking nuts.
I like you, Tim, even though we Thank disagree you. on the meat. How does it feel, Pat, to be uh, the odd man out? Well, people in the comments will decide whether they're <laughs> not only cutting their ribs into fingers so they can eat it, or if they're just cutting the You were shocked the that the, the one that shocked you the most was, on the, was the corn. Yeah. yeah, But no, it's a great move. Maybe, I, I, maybe, that, it's very inventive. Maybe as yeah. someone who... Listen, you see how often I brush my teeth and floss. Oh, I, it's insane. Insane levels of cleanliness. Hey, listen, you, I feel like... No, I, I actually should do it more. If, if you're going to be on television, yeah. you've got to have the nice teeth. Yeah. got to have the nice white teeth. And I don't want to be going paying for teeth whitening all the time. Can't do that. That's the thing. So I, I just keep up. You know, floss after meals. Make sure I get stuff out in between my teeth. It's not the end of the world. And don't use toothpicks. I'm so lazy. Do not use toothpicks. Fun. So what do you use? Floss. Tim, you use toothpicks, don't you? No, I, I don't Destroy usually. Destroy your I gums. Use, really? I was oh, yeah. using toothpicks well, yeah, all the you, time. Yeah. You puncture your gums. Oh, It'll lead to gingivitis. That already no, makes I'm a, I'm I'm a floss brushing my teeth. List. I'm spitting out blood anyway. Like, I'm a floss and do. gold Listerine sort of person. I, I, listen, that's me. I am all oh, <laughs> gold Listerine is the only Listerine that's generally usable. Because it gives you, you say head and shoulders gives you yeah. the burn? Gold Listerine. Death style. I gotta Listerine. be honest with you, I've never, I haven't used Listerine in over 10 years. I usually use Scope, and it's a. It's, uh, scope it's, is. Let's scope, go. Scope's a loser. Uh, scope yeah. is scope's for, for losers. Scope, <laughs> scope is for people who are not serious yes. about dental care. I agree. Scope is basically. And, all, and, and, also, and also, Listerine is I gotta be better with dental care. Uh, also, Tim claims he flosses, he doesn't floss. I don't floss. Either. Once a day. Yes, I do. No, once do. a day. No, I, I floss yes, like I do. That's such a lie. I gotta be honest with no, you. I'm Pat, I don't floss either. I, once it's part of my I routine when I shave. Yeah, you I'm don't kinda... shave, though. Every time I see you, you have the worst looking, like, <laughs> half beard in the world. Uh, I've got a pretty good beard going right now. Oh, yeah, but so I do it every time I shave, and you just said you're not even shaving. Well, you have to shave around your beard. You, you have to, like, shave your neck and stuff. I'm not Andrew Luck. You should be. Andrew you could be an old tiny general in the Civil War. Andrew Luck does kind of look like a wolf. A brigadier he's general. Got that, he's got that wolf yes, man that could be you. To him. Yeah. Cam Stewart. Hey, hey what's thank up, buddy? You for being here. Yes. Woo. Cam Stewart. Live. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, you gotta get an air conditioner, buddy. Look at you. You got the sweat. I got. I know. I got the sweat Woo. scenes going as well. <laughs> Hot in here. It is. So I'd like to thank Cam for being here. You can watch him every single, listen to him every single day on Fantasy Radio app and FantasySportsNetwork.com for. To 7 p.m. Eastern with Gabe Morenzi. Follow him on Twitter too, at Cam Stewart Live. And I would like to thank, with his horrible takes, Tim Andagus! Tim Andagus. That is not my name. And for the most part, Mr. Stewart was on my side. <laughs> Just like in Cuss Corner too. So go back, give the episode a like, and watch all the previous Cuss Corners. You can listen to them. They're all on demand. They're all still available. So I recommend you go check that. If you did like the show, pass it on to a friend. No bad fantasy advice here. Cuss Corner, it's Cuss Corner. Cuss Corner, it's Cuss Corner. He's got the hottest takes with the highest stakes. He should be president of the United States. But it's Cuss Corner, it's Cuss Corner. Cuss Corner, hee 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 hee.